Monday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time Monday, the 30th of August, 2021 First reading Reading from the first book of Thessalonians We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for us who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will not have advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be first to rise and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with him to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever, with such thoughts as these you should comfort one another. Responsorial Psalm The Lord comes to rule the earth. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among the peoples. The Lord comes to rule the earth. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of heathen are naught. It was the Lord who made the heavens. The Lord comes to rule the earth. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within thunder praise. Let the lands and all its bears rejoice. All the trees of wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. The Lord comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. The Lord comes to rule the earth. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah. Gospel Reading from the book of Luke Jesus came to Nazara, where he had been brought up and went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day as he usually did. He stood up to read and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll he found the place where it is written The Spirit of the Lord had been given to me for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor to proclaim liberty to the captives and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favour. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant and sat down, and all the eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text is being fulfilled today even as you listen, and he won the approval of all, and they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me the saying, Physicians, heal yourself. And tell me, we have heard all that happened in Capernaum. Do the same here in your own countryside. Then he went on, I tell you solemnly, No prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine reigned throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow in Sarephath, a Sidonian town, and in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these were cured except the Syrian Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. They took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff, but I slipped through the crowds and walked away. Gospel of the Lord.